Coming up on Nightly News Podcast. Earth Day was this Monday, and UCF has done quite a few things to educate the campus on air pollution. Find out what's in the air we breathe and how UCF is bringing awareness to this issue. Many students came together to plant trees on campus for Arbor Day last week. We'll tell you how this effort is helping combat deforestation. UCF is taking the phrase reduce, reuse, recycle to a whole new level. Find out how they're using bikes to make this happen. Nightly News Podcast starts now. Good afternoon and welcome to the Nightly News Podcast. I'm Taya Britton. And I'm Fritz Farrow. Today is Thursday, April 25th, 2019. The Earth is in a more critical state than ever. Air pollution is affecting the health of our planet from the ground to the sky. Nightly News Podcast reporter Amber Manuel explains the conditions the Earth is facing. The future of our planet is one of the major concerns we face. The world is rapidly experiencing the effects of increased pollution. According to a 2018 article published by the World Economic Forum, air pollution is the biggest threat to our health. Organizer of Ideas for Us UCF, Kristen Anderson, explains what is in the air we're breathing. There are two other... Um, molecules in the air that are worse. There's methane and also nitrous oxide. Methane is 30 times worse than CO2, and that comes from cow farts, to be honest. Anderson says just skipping a burger here or there helps reduce the amount of methane in the air. While the world is experiencing a decline in health, there's still some beauty left in nature. Librarian and organizer of Naturally UCF, Christina Ray, says it is best to observe nature to identify what is wrong. Part of building this awareness is you you don't notice change when you aren't actively looking for it, right? Until it gets so far changed that you can't ignore it. Um, If you walk through the Arboretum, the wildflower trail is just bursting with wildflowers right and but you would never see it unless you walk that 10 minutes back to the field and so (laughs) it's just building awareness and through these types of things and through um, those experiences hoping that our participants will start to pay more attention to what's how nature is being impacted on a wider scale. The concern for the environment is shared amongst many While the crisis is global, it is equally affected on a local scale. This means that individuals can change their habits to gradually see improvement. Sophomore Dante Lepi says small efforts can go a long way. I think a lot of people reaching out at the small term can help make a larger impact, and if they have the time and resources to capable of helping out, then it would certainly be worth the time. Remember, one person can make a difference. Reporting in Orlando, Amber Manuel, Nightly News Podcast. To find out more about Ideas for Us UCF and their efforts to help save the planet, visit their Instagram at ideasforus.ucf. Deforestation is becoming a greater concern around the globe. UCF students are taking on the issue with action. Nightly News Podcast reporter Tyler Fellerman tells us what they're doing to help. UCS students took to the Arboretum last Wednesday, April 17th, to celebrate a globally recognized holiday known as Arbor Day. Across the globe, the issue of deforestation is in full effect, and according to the Worldwide Fund for Nature, we lose around 18.7 million acres of forest every year. With climate change and global warming being a hot topic in today's society, people constantly look for ways to slow it down. One way is through Arbor Day. This is a day or week dedicated to planting trees in order to better the environment around us. Senior biology major Kyra Paris explains why she's celebrating Arbor Day at UCF for the second year in a row. I just think bringing awareness to this sort of stuff is important and having these sort of events and seeing all these people interested in planting trees is really cool. In a society where many expect instant gratification, planting trees is a hard thing to get people to do especially since they might not even get to enjoy the shade the tree they planted can give them. For Josias Gonzalez, a junior biology major at UCF, who also interns at the Arboretum, it's much bigger than that. The fact that I'm doing something for the community, that gives me enough satisfaction, honestly, um, that probably future generations will be able to see what um, we plant, what I plant, 
Um, so that's the type of motivation slash um, satisfaction that w I would get out of all of it. Across the U.S., many states celebrate Arbor Day on the last Friday of April. Arbor Day is celebrated globally in countries such as Yemen, Germany, India, and even Brazil, whose Amazon rainforest has seen the worst of what deforestation can do. According to National Geographic, nearly 17% of the forest has been lost due to deforestation. Much like Mother's Day shouldn't be the only day to appreciate your mom, Arbor Day isn't the only day you can get involved planting trees. There are multiple organizations such as Green Up Orlando and the Arboretum at UCF who are always looking for more volunteers. In Orlando, Tyler Fellerman, Nightly News Podcast. If you are interested in volunteering at the Arboretum on campus, you can see opportunities on their website at arboretum.ucf.edu. A new bike donation initiative is starting up on campus. This service would be unique for getting the UCF community involved in sustainability. Nightly News podcast reporter Melissa Woodford explains what this new project hopes to achieve. The UCF Police Department has recently been discovering more and more abandoned bikes on campus. UCF PD has collected about 100 bikes and will hold them for 30 days. They then auction off the bike parts. But UCF student Sarah Swers has come up with a plan to instead donate these bikes through an organization called the Bike Ferry. The Bike Ferry gives them to foster children in Orlando up to age 21. They're expecting to donate many bikes in the next few months. UCF Sustainability Initiatives also tried to collect used bikes for the Bike Ferry this semester through their swap shop for used items, but no one has donated bikes for the past two semesters. Rachel Gottner of UCF Sustainability Initiatives is hopeful there will be more bike donations next semester. Um, I'm hoping that we get more bike parts, bikes, and even skateboards as well. Um, the more you know, people know about the swap shop and know that that's one of the items that we gladly accept and definitely want. Swers says the collaboration between UCF PD and the Bike Ferry will be the route that guarantees to get foster children UCF bikes. The goal of this new initiative is to inspire resourcefulness and community outreach among UCF students. In Orlando, Melissa Woodford, Nightly News Podcast. Swerce hopes to see a lot of bikes donated in the upcoming semesters. And that's all our time for right now. Thanks for joining us. Remember, you can always keep up with UCF Nightly News on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you've got a story idea you want us to know about, send it our way. You can reach us at nightlynewsucf at gmail.com. Thanks for listening and have a great day.